We'll meet again, Netman. <clears throat> that's right, yeah. A third party Netman. That's basically essentially Ultimate Spider Man. Welcome back to Tac Tac Toys, your home of all sorts of action figure news. Let's get on into action figure news. And to be honest with you, I've done a live stream, an impromptu live stream. It's on my channel. Feel free to check it out. I'll put a link in the comments below. This video is not for kids. It was quite fun, my first live stream on the internet. And talking of the net, here's Netman. So, yeah, this is Ultimate Netman and, of course, Netman Black. Uh, 112 scale to 6 inch. Uh, thanks to Jackie for these picks on Facebook. So yeah, um, if you wanted an Ultimate Spider-Man, here you go. Or not Spider-Man, of course, Netman, but looks pretty good. I mean, obviously it's Mezco 112 styling in terms of cloth goods and keeping it with a the superhero theme here. We've got Toy Collector exclusive Earthworm Jim. Picks by Action Figure Inside and our Toy Collector is a magazine. So presumably... If you pick up the magazine, you can mail away for this figure. This figure looks really good. Um, if you're a big Earthworm Jim fan, then this is one to pick up. I initially, when I saw this, thought this was something to do with Green Lantern being the green costume. But it's not. Obviously, Earthworm Jim, I guess, has got a green variant costume. Um, and yeah, I think these figures are by DNA Toys. They are supposed to be very good. I know a lot of my pals in the Who crew, Dan Who's Who crew, are, are getting them. So I think from Uncle Ali, AliExpress. So... They are supposed to be quite good. They do look good. As you can see here, they are sort of six inch scale because that's a Playmates turtle that he's sized up against there. Yeah, I mean, again, credit to Action Figure Insider for these photos. So yeah, these, these, this does look good. I think Earthworm Jim, it's quite a fun property, isn't it? And yeah, I guess if you want this version, well, I'm presuming you, you, you buy Toy Collector there must be some kind of proof of purchase. But I, I've got a feeling this guy's up on Entertainment Earth. I'm not totally sure, but it's the Toy Collector exclusive anyway, pretty pretty nice. And Toy Collector's a really good magazine, by the way. If you like things in the past, like um, Toy Fair and Wizard Magazine, it's of that kind of style. And keeping it with a um, superhero theme here, we get a look at the Flame Toys SPDR. Now, obviously we did look at Netman earlier, which is Spider-Man, so this is SPDR now. I remember back in the day when the SPDR wave of Marvel Legends was released and it first showed up in Forbidden Planet. And I, it was one of the first places I saw it in the world, in Forbidden Planet. And uh, yeah, I guess keeping with a robot theme here, or cyborg theme, we get a look at the Thousand Toys Synthetic Wave Model Human. Uh, this is available on Emporium McCool. Uh, please do check out Emporium McCool. I'll put a link to them in the comments below if I can. If not, please check out some of my previous videos. But I know Thousand Toys do some amazing action figures in terms of articulation. I have their Devil May Cry, Dante, and it's really good. Um, and I know this figure the sort of synthetic human is really really good it poses really well i've seen it um sergeant bananas i think he's called um he does a lot of toy photography i've seen him using this a lot and i guess keeping it with a third party 112 scale theme we've got fog toys miss toy here this is a very post-apocalyptic looking lady with her bike again curse picks courtesy of jackie so i think they've had a release before previously um again this does look very very good so i mean third party toys are killing it aren't they third party companies are killing it with the 112 scale now we're spoiled for choice we're getting so many good options and this again is one of them so cloth goods a sort of futuristic sort of cyberpunk style bike um it's a really really good looking release uh so yeah let me know what you think of this in the comments below what you think we've seen so far like earthworm jim uh, netman there were thousand toys synthetic human let me know what you think think of all those if you're thinking of picking any up uh what you sort of collect uh if you collect sort of cloth goods costume figures or or not yeah let me know any of that good stuff in the comments below and if you do get a moment please do feel free to like comment and subscribe and yeah check out any of my other content but yeah i think this does look really good again if you're building out a post-apocalyptic kind of display uh then it's something you can sort of obviously Add to and again, welcome back to Tactic Toys, your home of action figure content. Let's get into action figure content a little bit further. So, yeah, uh, we saw Netman earlier, of course, and this is the the black version, which is of course the alien symbiote. And talking of aliens, we get a look here at 52 Toys 112 scale alien, which is officially licensed by 12th 20th Century Fox. And talking of aliens, we've got yes, it is called this Muff Toys National Defender coming soon. So, don't worry, your, your muff will be defended by nationally. Um, and of course, we get a look here at JNB Toys 112 scale Fallen Saviors. We've got a look at Super, essentially Superman by Moff Toys there, which is a savior. And this is going over to the Star Wars universe. We get a look at Anakin Skywalker in a cloth good style costume. And it looks really good, actually. Very good head sculpt. I wonder if these third party companies use like shrink down Hot Toys head sculpts, because some of them look like they do. Um, it's a very nice looking figure. 
Again, there's a Darth Maul in sort of cloth goods in this kind of 112 scale that, you know, you could sort of match this up with on the shelf. Um, it'd be nice to see Mezco 112 do a, a Star Wars line in, in sort of cloth goods. Um, I don't know if Hasbro would ever license it out or be able to license it out with Star Wars. Keeping it with a kind of swordsman style theme. We get a look here at Not A Toys 112 scale swordsman. Again, credits for that picture to Jackie. And here we get a look at Heroic Signatures Conan. Sculpted by Eamon O'Donoghue and then Frazetta 112 scale Conan. And this was available uh, for looking at, at SDCC 2024. Again, sculpted by Eamon O'Donoghue. And keeping it with a sort of swords and sandals theme, we get a look here at the Brutal Realm Barbarian Warriors. And this does look like a really good line. I think the, the Kickstarter for this is running at the moment. I believe it is. Very good looking line of figures. Um, sort of a, a cross between sort of domestic and import style articulation I noticed with some of the like the elbows they have that kind of Mafex style looking articulation don't they but it's got a lot, of, a lot of sort of domestic looking articulation like you say Marvel Legends that kind of thing you know G.I. Joe classified but yeah you certainly can build out a sword and sorcery um, shelf quite easily you've got Mezco you've got this line you've got um, things like Frazetta you know from uh, Fire and Ice that kind of stuff your Mythic Legions um, obviously your Masterverse, He-Man, Master of the Universe, plenty of different choices. So these look really, really good. Again, it's not my quite, kind of my quite, kind of my thing because I'm more of a military 112 scale collector, modern military 112 scale collector, but I can certainly appreciate all this good stuff and they are really good looking action figures. And I guess going from one type of barbaric fighting to maybe street fighting, we get a look here at the Jada Street Fighter 2 Ken Player 2 costume, exclusive to Entertainment Earth. But having said it's exclusive to Entertainment Earth, some of the UK independent retailers have got hold of this. I think whole shebang, props and replicas, and star action figures, I think, have all got this available for pre-order. I mean, it's quite a good, you know, it's quite a nice repaint, I guess. I mean, you, I guess you could just take existing Ryu and Ken and head swap them or, you know, do a few parts and pieces swaps and you could essentially make this figure. Obviously... The burning sort of Hadouken effect would be um, something that you wouldn't get. But I guess Fei Long's, you know, kicking effect, you could use that on Ken. But yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice sort of, it's nice to be able to get these exclusives. I mean, I know the SDCC Violent Ken uh, and uh, Pink Chun-Li, the 2024 exclusives from Jada Choice, they're available on Star Action Figures. I mean, I'm looking at the ones that I really want to see. Ah, oh, Dalsim in blue skin, you know, uh, M. Bison in that kind of green, or Vega if you're in Japan, that green uniform, and say a few versions of Guile, maybe in the blue military uniform or the brown military uniform from Street Fighter Champion Edition. I'd certainly like to see those as variants from Jaded Toys. Well, if you'd like to see some figures in hand, of course, you can check out my Marvel Legends SDCC 2024 Disney Store video. And talking to Marvel Legends, check out Dan Who Reviews, Legends and Liquor, Turtles and Tea with Dan and Tanner, and of course, Joes and Juice with Dan, Tom Mini Plastic Multiverse and myself, talking all this G.I. Joe classified news. Of course, we're rounding up SDCC soon enough. And you can, of course, check out Jay's Toy Collection UK for action figure reviews in the UK. And feel free to check out Just Justin Collects. Of course as well he does a lot of uh, videos on his channel sort of to do with collecting both Q&A review videos so feel free to check him out check out Miguel and the Wolfpack toy review for action figure toy hunting in the California area you can of course check out Robo and Robo don't know uh, he does a very professional job of all the news roundup on a Saturday feel free to check out Adam Crone AC toy design and you can of course check out his patreon and if you like film and TV you can check out film and TV review.com and yet yeah, some of their reviews and feel free to check out Trevor the 1-6 Shooter for all things Mythic Legions, Cosmic Legions and more. And yeah, for action figure reviews in Ireland, you can of course check out Brian's action figure reviews. So yeah, links to all these YouTube channels, they should be in the comments below. But if not, please do check some of my previous videos. You can of course check out Cypher Sigma for film, film reviews and action figure pickups. Feel free to check out my friend Elson on his YouTube channel. Uh, El doing Elson official music, doing official music covers and music of his own design. For toy photography tips and tricks, you can check out Photo Dave and Toy Picks, so feel free to check him out. You can, of course, check out Big Wheel Pictures and Plastic, so feel free to check him out, of course. He does lots of wrestling videos with the Who Crew. And you can, of course, check out Why So Serious Toys. Again, I'll try and put links to all these YouTube channels in the comments below, but if you don't see them, please do check out some of my previous videos. Feel free to check out Z-Man 12 Bat, Agent Z-Man on his YouTube channel. And Dante in the Infinity Equation, feel free to check him out. 
So yeah, lots of good stuff to check out. You can, of course, check out uh, Austin, the hero of collectors. So yeah, feel free to check him out. And the 3POA podcast for action figure chat and pop culture discussion. And of course, Happy Pursuits, a very positive YouTube channel. Feel free to check him out where he does lots of reviews of all the sort of latest action figures. And of course, Chris uh, on Mod Extra, who does a lot of sort of G.I. Joe classified news. So feel free to check him out again. Um, so lots of different YouTube channels to check out there. Some more stuff that I saw at SDCC that caught my eye and was quite exciting was this Tactical Spawn and, of course, Call of Duty Spawn from McFarlane. I do hope to pick both of these up. These will go great with my shelf. And for some great places to pick up, purchase, and pre-order action figures, you can, of course, check out Blue Owl Collectibles. Feel free to use my affiliate link in the comments below. You can, of course, check out Kapow Toys. And at the time of this video, it's Andy's birthday. Happy birthday, Andy. Uh, you can, of course, check out Comics and Cocktails. And feel free to check out what else we've got cooking here. Let's have a look. Star action figures. Again, if you want links to all the, any of these sort of independent UK retailers, uh, check the comments below or any of my previous videos. You can, of course, check out In Demand Toys. And feel free to check out Props and Replicas, who should have Action Force in stock soon enough. Be the UK stockist for Action Force. And talking of Action Force, you can, of course, check out Valiverse.com for all your Action Force needs with international shipping, if you like. Um, feel free to check out the whole shebang and what else we've got cooking let's have a look uh, you can check out Invincible Toys on, on Big Bad Toy Store both uh, their futuristic combat soldiers and Fist so I'll put, try and put links to both those in the comments below and I mentioned Emporium McCool earlier didn't I with 1000 Toys Synthwave Model 3 check out Emporium McCool of course for lots of high end action figures and you can of course check out Gobsmack Comics and all the cool stuff as well so plenty of good places to pick up your action figures from all uk independent retailers and international ones and for inter talking of international things we go imports here have a look at carmen rider here carmen rider no go fever beep form no idea what this is but it's a carmen rider i know that i have watched the one carmen rider vi uh, film and it was quite good actually from a couple of years ago and if you keep want to keep it on a japanese or anime style thing you can have a look at the scarlet martial art martial artist 16,000 power level again credit to find my figures for that one so that's the latest episode of flicks and figs that's episode 30 thanks for watching i know there's lots of different stuff you can watch on the internet so i really appreciate it please do feel free to check out my live stream if you'd like to again i'll put a link to that in the comments below and until next time just make sure you enjoy those flicks and figs <laughs>